Hi lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy and this time I'm reviewing The Pirate Loop by Simon Guerrer, which is a Doctor Who New Adventure series novel. It features the 10th Doctor and Martha Jones and basically they end up on this big fancy starship luxury cruise trying to figure out how it vanished. It's like this one mystery that the Doctor doesn't even have an answer for. And there are plenty of like rumors and theories about what happened to it. It disappeared right before this intergalactic war started, so maybe it was like the first casualty of the war. There was also rumors of this experimental um, engine drive thing in it. Um, so definitely tons and tons of hype around this missing ship. And so when Martha hears the doctor talk about it, she's like, let's go. I mean, it's even got this great t title, this great name, the Starship Brilliant. She convinces the doctor they land the TARDIS on the ship a couple of days before it's supposed to vanish. Unsurprisingly, they do actually kind of figure out what happened. And I kind of love it, <laughs> like what actually happened to the ship and everything. So when they first land on the ship, they end up in the engine room and they find that there is engine trouble. So kind of got an explanation right off the bat. But there's nobody responding from, like, the bridge where the captain is supposed to be. None of the crew is responding. They just got the engine workers who are all these mouthless slaves. Like, literally, they are humanoid slaves, but they were born without mouths. So they can't talk to the doctor. They can't talk to Martha, at least not with any kind of conventional speech. And so there's this really interesting big opening bit where they're trying to figure out what's happening and what's wrong with the ship and where everybody is and what's going on. Eventually they do make it out of the engine room and then they run into the ship's um, occupants, the vacationers, because it is a cruise ship. And we have these aliens that are kind of like jellyfish but also like egg-shaped with tentacles, which I kind of loved. And they're all super pompous and aristocratic and rich and they're just there to have a party and enjoy their vacation and they're not even concerned that anything's going wrong because the robotic wait staff is still serving them drinks and helping them along and they're like eh, whatever nothing's wrong with the ship we're fine what are you talking about at least until they get captured by badgered face space pirates i'm not this is the actual plot of this book there are Badger, badgers, that are space pirates, which I loved. And actually, the space pirates are my favorite part of this book. They're so cute and adorable and innocent, but also pirates and menacing. And it's like the perfect combination. Like, they are the best part of this book. And then there's the whole mystery about where is the missing crew? What is actually going on with the ship? Why does it just completely vanish? Like, even if it crashed or something, there should be, like, remains of the ship somewhere. Um, so this was definitely a fun adventure mystery going on in here with space pirates, which is one of my favorite things. <laughs> um, Martha definitely shines in this. I always forget how awesome Martha is for some reason. Like even I just read one of her books and watched one of her episodes and kind of forgot how awesome Martha was. So Martha constantly surprises me. She definitely does not get as much credit as she deserves. Um, it feels like Martha, it feels like the Doctor, so that's always good. It's very heavily centered on the Doctor and Martha figuring out what's going on. So the, unlike other Doctor Who novels where we're following like secondary characters who only show up for this book, it really is just the Doctor and Martha trying to figure everything out and then they're interacting with other really interesting, really fun, really quirky characters. And the actual mystery of what happened and how it gets solved and how the Doctor fixes everything is great. I love that part. I definitely don't want to spoil it for you though. But this book ended up getting three stars from me, which is like a standard Doctor Who book for me. Like, it wasn't like the most amazing thing ever. I mean, the badgers are pretty cute. Maybe it's more like a 3.5. Um, and I did appreciate the fact that time itself plays a huge part of this story. Not just traveling within time and going to other planets, but like actually the passage of time and the causality of the universe kind of thing, like what time does to everything, was a huge part of the story, which I love. Like, there's definitely science-y stuff going on in here. But also adventure and fun, and it's great. So I definitely enjoyed The Pirate Loop. I definitely needed this really quick light read, and that's totally what it was. I was not disappointed. 
So if that's what you're looking for, especially if you're looking for badgered face face pirates, why wouldn't you be? Uh, check this book out. So peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.